pay one to this. You know, I have an old 2008 Fujitsu notebook lying around. And in a previous episode, I installed React OS on it and I completely failed. However, recently I was thinking, it can run a little bit slow, so just why not install Linux on it? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go, we're on the screen. So, we have the VGA switch all set up. We got our USB stick here, so let's stick it in. Now, it won't... Huh? What? Oh! Okay, the driver, the USB storage driver, literally just crashed. Yeah. So I'm just going to shut off the computer by just holding down the power button. Turn it back on and spam that F12 key. The computer's not even on. There we go. Spam that F12 key. I think F12 is boot menu. I'm just going to keep spamming that key because uh, the monitor is not on. Uh, boot off the USB key. It's not really a key. And try to install Lubuntu. And also readjust the camera. Because reflections are fun. Well, I mean, this has a really, um... You can still see me, but not that well. You can still see that I'm moving my head around, but you can't see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Lubuntu. Selection language. I'm going to have to move it over here for a bit and move my face off the camera. So, um, English United Kingdom. Lubuntu changing language. So, uh, yeah, I want to try Lubuntu. To change the display settings. Oh, it's cute settings. Monitor settings. Disable my display. Oh! Yup, they're completely fine. Okay, we can now move the camera back. So, here we are. Let's be performing. Uh oh. Let's just test this out so we can get KDE Partition Manager. Q Terminal. What's this? It's near fetch pre installed. It is. Cool. So we have a. Um... Hey, we got the Linux Channel 6.8. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, that's the Lubuntu logo. Lubuntu 2404. x86. x86? Is that just a CPU architecture or is that saying that this is a 32-bit version? I hope this is not a 32-bit version. I don't even think there is a 32-bit version for this. Uh, host Amilo Pi. Kernel 6.8, up time 3 minutes. Bash. Resolution. DE. Open box window manager. Oh no! My cursor is ahead of the window! No! That generally means something isn't performing. Look. Yeah, we only have two gig of RAM in this thing. Yeah. Yes, I want to exit. Install Ubuntu. Oh, we're just using the Calamares um, install. Hey, nice. Next. Uh, yup. Uh, yup. Install. Oh my gosh. And all extra third party packages. Uh, let's just go download and install updates following installation. We uh, erase the disk. Swap to file. Sure. Next. What's my full name? Whale Tech. Whale Tech 07. 
What's the name of this computer? Like I said in the previous episode, I like to nickname the computer the Fuji Hammer. There we go. Choose a password. A, A, continue. Next. Install. Install now. So. Can you MS DOS partition? Oh, yeah, because this is not using. Oh, yeah, because this is using BIOS. It's not using UEFI. Because this is a computer from 2008. So, yeah, I'm just going to let this install. And I will be right back after we start this time lapse. On your computer, you may restart into your new system or continue using the Lubuntu live environment. Yep, there we go. Where's my, where's my mouse? Done. I have restart now checked. So, uh, yeah, we have successfully installed Lubuntu on a 2008 Fujitsu netbook. You can't even see that it's Fujitsu. But now you can. Okay, please remove the installation medium. Then press enter. Okay. Let's just wait for this to boot up. Okay, here we go. We are in. This looks like SDDM to me. Yeah, this is definitely SDDM. So, um, so select your user and enter password. Yep, this is definitely SDDM. So yeah, we are logging in. F1 doesn't do anything. Esca oh, we're in. So I think we have to um, go preferences, LXQ, monitor, turn off this monitor, apply. Yep. So yeah, this is LXQ. More specifically, Lubuntu. We can run Q terminal and type in Neo Fetch. I can't type today. <sighs> Perfect. Let's run this again. Let's run Neo Fetch again. Okay, now we can actually see our system stats. So we have uh, Ubuntu running on an Amilo with kernel 6.8. Up time one minute packages okay we have snap packages on here which is not my favorite packaging format shell bash 1080p de lxq open box breeze breeze oh yeah it's gtk3 huh what gtk i thought it was cute anyway whatever that is for the icons um q terminal an intel core 2 duo t 5450 at 1.6 gigahertz and an Intel mobile. I assume that's actually integrated graphics. And we also, let's just run HTOP. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, so this is HTOP or HTOP, however it is. So we have our mem. How much? memory are, you, are we using we are using 652 megabytes so i think it's megabytes of... yeah. okay we're using 652 megabytes out of nearly two gigabytes of, of ram i don't know if it's gigabytes or gigabytes i'm just gonna assume it's gigabytes so zoom back out here uh, yeah, I want to exit the terminal. So now let's just do a little bit of customization. Let's load up Firefox just because, yeah, and go to if Firefox even wants to. There we go. 
So in Firefox, let's go to, um, let's see if I can type this, whaletech07.github.io. Enter. Come on. There we go. It, it's working. Let's just go to my YouTube channel. Just because. Yeah. Let's watch Art Chat Side just because. Can't even hear it. Okay, well, there's that. So, yeah, I didn't really do much customization. Let's just change the desktop background, actually. I want to change the desktop background. Background. Select. Oh. I can change this. Now, what do I want to change this to? Uh, let's go to jellyfish. 2204 jellyfish. There we go. Look at that close that out and i think we're done here we have successfully installed lubuntu on an old notebook so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye